great, great opportunity for our program to succeed in a great conference. And, and it opens up a lot of doors for us. Um, we, we get to travel up the East Coast, and uh, we, we're in Baltimore and Philadelphia and uh, New York and Boston and, and in several other cities. Uh, but what really gets lost in the shuffle is we also have some bus rides. I mean, William and Mary's not that far. James Madison's not that far. Wilmington's the closest school. And then you have Charleston, which we're used to busing down there. So uh, it, it's a great uh, conference, a great group uh, of like-minded universities. And, uh, and a great basketball conference. It's a great opportunity, not only you know for myself, but um, just you know the Elon Elon University uh, athletic department. Um, CAA has a lot of great history. Um, you know a lot of great teams that have done you know some some pretty prestigious things. Jack Wheaton does our scheduling, and he put together a tremendous schedule. And uh, we're excited to be in the CAA. We know the challenges that the CAA presents, but we also wanted to challenge our team in the non-conference. And uh, we open up the year against Florida Atlantic in this building. And then two nights later, we play UNC Charlotte in this building. And that's two Conference USA schools. And th those are opportunities that uh, our program hasn't had a lot of. And uh, we're, we're thankful and excited about the opportunity to play these, these Conference USA opponents just to kick off the year. Growing up, obviously, you want to play in some cool uh, historic places or new places. And uh, Coach Matheny has done a really good job Obviously, we get to go down to Cancun this year, so that'll be a lot of fun. Then we also get to play at Cameron. Um, so, you know, Coach does a very good job of getting us in some cool places and uh, good opportunities you can get being a college basketball player. There's not one person on this year's team that will have the same role as they had last year. And uh, th that speaks a lot to the fact that we have a ton of inexperience. Uh, everybody's getting a new role. And uh, it's exciting as a coach, and, it, and I'm sure our players are excited too, because what that means is a, a lot of competition for playing time, a lot of competition for uh, the roles that are uh, available for players, and uh, our guys have embraced that. And uh, they are working, uh, competing against each other more than they ever have, and working together in a, in a more intense fashion. It's gonna make us a better team. We've had great leaders in the past, you know, with that senior class leading. Um, but, you know, it's our time to step up. And uh, we're definitely, you know, willing to just take that challenge. And, you know, I think we've got a great group of guys. And, uh, you know, we're going to lead these guys to you know, do some amazing things. Losing those guys definitely has brought on a greater role for a lot of players. But we've got a good group. And uh, if we just work at it and get after it for the next six weeks and practice, We'll come as one and we'll do it as a team. It's not on one player. We're going to do it as a group. We really like our freshman class. Um, we, we got five Elon men to join us. And uh, we look for toughness, coachability, and work ethic, and ambition. And uh, we want guys that want to be great. Uh, so there's the ambition part. We want guys that'll work. Uh, we want guys that'll listen. We want guys with a bit of toughness as we face all kinds of adversity. And we feel like we got it with all five. Our chemistry is more than just on the basketball court. And when you bring in a player on a visit or the first time he comes on campus, he just knows that he's coming into a brotherhood. We connect instantly. Whether you're from West Coast, East Coast, Canada, it's, we're all one now. We're all family. We've got a great senior class. I mean, you think about Austin Hamilton and you think about Kevin Blake and Ryan Winters and what all they've seen, what all they have experienced. And uh, our system is in place and our culture is in place. And uh, although we lost quite a bit of experience and talent, um, we do not go back to square one. We are not in a rebuilding mode. What we are in is the mode of building this team. And we have great senior leaders that will help us build this team.